Hi, everyone. I am going to be comparing aspect ratios and different camera shots on this video. And my beautiful subject here is an alien. So let's get right to it. This is Mid Journey version 5.1. I am going to be using portrait close up and extreme close up and then vary the aspect ratios. The aspect ratio is a dash dash AR parameter according to Midjourney, that you add to the end of your prompt, and that allows you to vary the size and width and the height of the image that you generate. So I'm just picking a couple of common ones. Here's the prompt. Variable shot porcelain doll alien with intricate lines painted on her face. And then I'm adding the aspect ratio parameter. The variable is portrait, close-up, extreme close-up, and then I add the rest of the prompt. The aspect ratio that I'm looking at is square, 2 to 3, and 3 to 2, and then also 9 to 16, and 16 to 9, which is the widescreen aspect ratio. Let's take a look. Square, which is 1 to 1, you do not need to specify this in the prompt because it is the default. It comes straight out of mid-journey. So you will always get a square if you don't specify the aspect ratio. Here is the portrait one. While I'm going through these images with the different shots and then also the different aspect ratios, I'm simply observing what I see. Is the face bigger on the image, smaller, what I see around the face, potentially background and things like that, because I'm not specifying any of that. And I'm specifically here focused on the intricate details of the face. This is certainly just one tiny, small study where I'm really focusing on just this aspect of it. If you add other things, there will be many different options to choose from, for example, from full body and things like that. So just keep in mind, this is not the end all be all study of aspect ratios and what happens when you select a different shots. This is just one where I look at what happens to the face. Here are some close up shots. The reason why I do this is because I want to see what image would fit best for whatever I'm looking to use this image for, for example. So sometimes it may be better that I use an extreme close-up depending on what I'm after, or maybe I'd like to choose a close-up or a portrait. So this is really just a experimentation on seeing what type of shot would work the best. Here is aspect ratio 2 to 3. So I'm adding the dash dash AR2 colon 3 at the end of the prompt. This is a portrait. And now here I can see immediately that, you know, compared to the square one, for example, I see much more of the torso and there's also space above the head. This looks more like what I would expect a portrait photo to look like, a portrait shot, not necessarily portrait photography, just a shot. So I'm simply guiding mid-journey to give me a certain amount of the subject in the image, basically. That's, that's what I'm after here. And here is the close-up. Do you see any differences? I can see that now there is no space above the head, and I'm also not seeing quite as low on the chest. I'm really just seeing some neck in this case. And here is an extreme close-up. Typically, in extreme close-ups, the face is much more cropped, so you see it more close-up than even the close-up was. And then the details, and this is why I added the intricate details on the face, usually pop. So if that's the look you're going for, extreme close-up is often an excellent option. Then let's look at the aspect ratio 3 to 2. Here you can see that the portrait is not as portrait <laughs> as it is in the two to three. Uh, that's totally made up word. Don't worry about it. <laughs> it's more close up as I would expect or I would hope it to be. So if I wanted it to be more portrait, I might not necessarily want to use this aspect ratio. I do like that I am seeing more space on either both sides or one side of the subject. So again, depending on where I decided to use this, I could potentially use this versus another one. 
And this is a quite versatile aspect ratio, this three to two. In here, I don't really see a lot of differences from going from portrait to close up. Then extreme close up, I do see much more detail on the face. You can even see the texture on her skin here or in this porcelain doll vibe that I'm going for. And here's another one. You can even see the indentation, which is super cool. So again, depending on what you're after and you just pick and choose. This aspect ratio, 9 to 16, the vertical one, which is great for Instagram, TikTok, wherever you want to do um, short reels or, you know, YouTube shorts, things like that. You could also do some cool effects on this. I'll have to do a video on that later. So super versatile also. Portrait is similar to the 2 to 3, so you see more of the torso and then also above her head. Close-up brings the face to more close-up, and then you can also see that the neck area is more blurred. And none of these are really, you know, one is better than the other. It's totally up to you which one you prefer for whatever you want to use it for. And this is the extreme close-up. Here too, just like in the other ones, the extreme close-up in general brings the face in much more close-up focus and crops some of the head out. So you can see more details near the eyes and typically forehead. Aspect ratio 16 to 9 is probably one of my favorites. I like to use it for many, many reasons. Here you can see that the portrait is not really a typical portrait. It's a much more close-up shot. Here is another. This is one of my favorite images of this series, which is why it's on the cover as well. Here is a close-up. I love that you have some space on the side, whether you want to play with it or, you know, just leave it blank, but it gives a little bit of a different dimension to this image. Here's another close-up. And here's one more close-up, and I wanted to show that, you know, this is where you can start seeing some cool effects in the background. Like, I am assuming or thinking that what you see in the back here is part of this alien, which makes it super cool. And you don't really get that if you're doing more of the vertical. Here is another extreme close-up. The texture on the skin, again, is very noticeable and gorgeous, as is the painting on the face. And one more here. So what do we learn from this mini experimentation? Try various aspect ratios and see which one you like. Although you'll see general rules where portrait gives you a certain type of image typically, and then close up another one and an extreme close up yet another, there will be variations and you will see some portraits mixed to the very extreme close ups and vice versa. So pick and choose as you see fit. Do several reruns. The best thing that you can do on any images that you're doing is run them several times. If you just run an image prompt once, you only get four options. Oftentimes those four are not the best ones. Sometimes they are, but oftentimes after you run something three, four, five times, you really get some super amazing things. And then all you have to do is pick your favorites depending on where you want to use them. That is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions at all, feel free to ask them in the comments. I'd be happy to answer them the best of my ability. You can also find me on Twitter. I would love to see your creations. Just tag me and I will come take a look.